to Mars. But when we go there via spacecraft or space vehicle, it would take months to go to Mars. Even though there is gravity in space, we just don't feel it we, because we are free falling, which results in microgravity. We'll get back to the free falling point later. The microgravity, also known as zero gravity, results in muscle or, and bone loss, also known as atrophy. As a matter of fact, just in 5 to 11 days, our muscles would shrink by 20% because of a process called atrophy. Atrophy, also known as muscle loss. Because of radio loading stimuli in the microgravity environment, increased bone resorption occurs and possibly decreased bone formation is experienced, thereby leading to bone mass loss at a rate of about 10 times that of osteoporosis, which is bone loss on earth due to less calcium intake. Due to earth's 9.8 meter per second squared gravity, we don't encounter atrophy, but in space, there is microgravity. So, we need regular 2 hours of exercise. Lifting weights would be not of use. We would need to rely on elastic resistance because in space there is microgravity and we would see flashes of flight or cosmic ray visual phenomena which is the radiation reaching our nervous system perceived by some astronauts outside the magnetosphere. So can we get experience to train ourselves for Martian gravity? And the answer is yes, by zero-g flights. But how does it work? Zero-g flights or parabolic flights or vomit comets are generally used to train astronauts for their missions. It is also known as vomit comets because it causes some people nausea. Trained pilots fly the plane. Before starting a parabolic maneuver so that we don't feel the ground, the plane flies to the horizon at an altitude of 24,000 feet with a speed of 810 km per hour. It is the speed gradually reached by the aircraft to make the maneuver. The pilots then begin to pull up, gradually increasing the angle of the aircraft to about 45 degrees to the horizon, reaching an altitude of 32,000 feet which pushes the ground against the passengers, causing hypergravity. So, the passengers feel 1.8 Gs. Then, the trained pilot starts the 15 parabolas, where the plane goes down for the first parabola. So, the passengers feel, feel the ground going away from them. So, they are not feeling the normal force of the ground. Thus, they are feeling weightless. And other forces such as the surface tension of water becomes more prominent. That's why water is a perfect spear in space. And you can do crazy stuff such as lifting 20 kgs and doing push-ups at the same time. Then the cycle of parabolas continues for 15 times. It can also simulate Martian gravity or lunar gravity. The average gravitational acceleration of Mars is 3.721 meters per second squared which is about 38 percent that of earth and moon or lunar gravity which is 1.62 meters per second squared which is microgravity many experiments are conducted there like effects of microgravity on our brains experiments have shown that microgravity helps our brain to think more efficiently Though, microgravity also has negative effects on our brain if stayed for a long time. And the effect of microgravity in plants. Cause if we need to terraform a place, we need to know how to grow plants there in microgravity. A few corporations like the Zero-G Corporation offers Zero-G Ride in the G-Force 1. A specially modified Boeing 727. There are other corporations too, like the Air Zero G by North Space. In the North Space Airbus A3100G, 
which also offers zero g flights but how do they work zero g planes work with the illusion of gravity zero g planes also act on the concept of free falling because there is no ground normal force or resistance we just don't feel gravity if you thought that the video was informative kindly like share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching see you in my next video parabolic flights or zero g flights are operated in special flight zones where test flights are usually made air traffic is less dense in those areas